हेलो चिल्ड्रन एंड वेलकम यू ऑल इन अर नेक्स्ट वीडियो फॉर द रिविजन ऑफ द लेसन अर नीड फॉर एयर एज यू नो इन अर प्रीवियस वीडियो वी हैव लर्न अबाउट द वॉटर एज वॉटर इज वन ऑफ द बेसिक नीड्स राइट सिमिलरली द एयर इज ऑल्सो वन ऑफ द बेसिक नीड्स ऑफ ह्यूमन लाइफ और ऑल द लिविंग थिंग्स ओके so here we are going to discuss about the revision of air but before starting the revision of air let we will solve or let we will read a riddle for air there is something there okay there is something there it is to be found up and down and all around you can't touch it you can't see it but show and show but sure as show you can name it yes it is air we cannot see it we cannot touch it but we can only feel it or name it okay so let's we will start a revision of air with the very most important use of air okay so where do we use the air and how the air is useful for us or Uh, how the help uh, air is useful for the living things okay we will all these uh, concepts we are going to discuss through our this video so first of all uh, let me explain you as i uh, said you earlier ke air is present all around us actually uh, uh, our environment our surrounding it is full of air so what is the percentage of air okay all around us okay so uh, near about uh, there is air all around us actually the air is a mixture of different gases air is nothing but a gas okay it is present in the gaseous form that's why we cannot see the air okay and air is a mixture of different gases okay the gases like nitrogen oxygen and carbon dioxide or other gases are uh, present in the air or they constitute the air okay and uh, the major percentage of nitrogen gas is present in the air that's why you can see the uh, blue portion uh, is bigger than the another gases and that is the nitrogen gas uh, near about 78% of our air is uh, made up of nitrogen gas okay and only 21% of oxygen is present in the air that we breathe in okay so let we will continue with the explanation of air uh, now we will discuss about the properties of air okay as you know air does not have any color that's why it is invisible okay it does not have smell only the dirty air smells or the polluted air smells but the fresh air does not have any smell it does not have taste we cannot taste the air even though when we open our mouth to say something or when we open our mouth to talk something or to eat something the air get filled in our mouth but as it is not having any taste that that's why it is not uh, identified by our tongue okay uh, next one is it has weight obviously air is having a weight okay but it is lighter than the water it occupies the space okay for example when we take an empty container or empty pot there is air filled in it okay but we cannot see the filled air in that container or pot but it uh, the air is present there inside that container or pot that's why we can say that the air occupies the space okay next why do we need air what is the need of air in our life okay so let me explain you we need air for breathing the very first and the very most important use of air is we need air for breathing our body need air 
to function properly without breathing or without taking the air inside our body cannot function properly when we breathe in we take air actually when we breathe air when we inhale okay inhale the taking the air inside is called inhalation so when we inhale the air the oxygen from the air we are taking inside okay air makes us feel fresh and lively obviously whenever we breathe we feel fresh and lively air is necessary for our body to get the vigor that we need to work properly whatever vigor or stamina or the power uh, to do the work we require uh, while breathing we can get it and easily we can our uh, function our body properly okay so uh, air is very much important for the uh, living lives because uh, without breathing we cannot uh, stay or we cannot survive okay uh, inhalation right now i explained you ke uh, breathing is a process of inhalation and exhalation inhalation and exhalation together forms breathing and when we breathe continuously that is called respiration already we have discussed this uh, in our previous videos but now we are just taking a quick recap inhalation means we breathe air in through the nose that is called inhalation means like this what i am doing i am taking the air inside okay with the nose that is called inhalation and when we breathe out the air okay through the nose that is called exhalation and when we uh, continuously breathe that process is called in scientific terms respiration okay so inhalation plus exhalation together forms makes respiration inhalation means taking the air here you can see in this picture uh, taking the air inside through the nose is called inhalation and giving out the air through the nose is called exhalation and together forms the breathing okay uh, so as uh, we do the respiration or as we uh, breathe similarly the plants also breathe the animals or the birds uh, also breathe it means all living things need air okay Uh, if you look carefully we can see a dog's chest have you seen a dog's chest coming up and down going up and down yeah what does it indicate it indicates that that animal is breathing he is taking uh, the oxygen he is taking the air inside okay and giving out it outside so it indicates that not only us but all the living things on earth they uh require air for their survival okay uh, for example the different living things uh, they breathe but the organs for breathing is different for example when we take the air with the help of our nose when we inhale the air with the help of nose that air goes through the uh, air pump to the lungs so as we are the human beings we breathe with the help of lungs okay which internal organs do we breathe with the help with the help of lungs similarly the fishes breathe with the help of gills the frogs also breathe with the lungs okay and the plants breathe with the help of their leaves actually the small small openings on the leaves i Uh, showed you and explained you in our previous videos uh, while i was explaining the process of photosynthesis or food making process by the plants i already explained you that the uh, plant also breathe there are the small openings or holes on the leaves of the plants that holes were called stomata so Pla uh, plants uh, breathe with the help of leaves uh, fishes with the help of gills and frogs or other uh, vertebrates uh, breathe with the help of their lungs okay understood now how do the fish breathe why the fish are having the special organs called gills 
for their breathing because earlier i explained to you that there is a continuous oxygen or air supply to the water okay actually the water is having a dissolved oxygen air is present in water but in the dissolved form so that's why to absorb that air the fish are having the special organs that are called gills okay so the fishes or the fish uh, breathe with the help of their gills they use the dissolved oxygen or air present in the water so in this way uh, as i uh, told that uh, the fish live in the water they use the air that is dissolved in the water some people keep the fish in the glass fish tank this one that is actually called the aquarium okay fish aquarium so there is a continuous water uh, oxygen or air supply okay okay from the outlet or the outer supply uh, of the air because whatever the air is present in that particular fish tank or aquarium the dissolved amount of air it get overs by the Uh, continuous breathing of the fish that's why there should be an outer supply of the air to that water so that the fish can breathe that air okay uh, uh, till here we have explained the different uses of air and how the air help for help to all the um, organisms or the all, or all the living things on the earth like human beings plants animals birds fish okay so here our concept of air uh, i hope understoodly you have understood finally you have understood uh, try to just recap all the things by your own also by watching in the textbook and try to solve the things that are uh given okay after the lesson from the textbook till then take care of yourself and your family bye